So I'm going to do a video on what's on my MacBook Pro. Um, there are many videos on the on YouTube on what's on my MacBook Pro, but they tend to be done by two different types of people. Either professionals that are using them for movies and, and music, or you've got kids in their bedroom that aren't using them for anything productive and it's all about customising it and making it look cute. Um, so I don't think there's a sort of an all-round video on YouTube. So I'm using a 2015 MacBook Pro, it's only got a 120 gigabyte hard drive in it. When I bought it, I didn't have the cash flow to, to upgrade it, and it's one of the things that I really wish I did. I've been toying with the idea of upgrading it, but I'm also toying with the idea of um, getting the new 2020 model. <clears throat> now they've finally fixed the keyboard issues, so um, I, I want to get my hands on one of those. So, I think without further ado, let's uh, have a look at some of the software that I use on my Mac. Now, I like to keep it free from icons, I think it looks cleaner, but also when I go into um, business presentations, it just means that people are going, oh, what's, not going, oh, what's that far, what's that far? <laughs> if I do put anything on there, it's normally something that I'm working on um, and I need urgent access to. So, for example, if I'm working on a train or something, I just quickly drag it onto the uh, onto the desktop. Now, the desktop does um, sync with iCloud Drive, so anything that does accidentally make its way there, will um, will get backed up. Now, there is an app called Hidden Me that does hide your icon to when you go in a presentation, and I have used it. The reason I haven't got it there at the moment is um, it encourages you to be lazy. And I think a tidy desktop, tidy mind, and enables me to be more productive. So I, I've uninstalled it, but I can whack it on there if there's lots of icons that I don't need to remove and I'm going into a presentation. It's beautiful of a Mac, everything's able to be installed so quickly. Unbelievable. So the um, let's start with the um, menu bar at the top here. The first thing you'll notice is I don't use the standard power meter for Apple. This one is called uh, Battery Time and uh, $1.99 in the App Store and it gives you the ability to see how long is left in your battery. So uh, a feature that Apple did remove I think back in 2016 um, it, it's come back um, for $1.99 oh, I like it. I also use Toothpick. Toothpick enables me to uh, quickly connect to a Bluetooth device and also hover over and see battery levels. So my AirPods for example I whack them out the case and uh, click that and they're connected within seconds. It's really good. And I can check the battery level as well. I also use this Sonos menu bar application and it enables me to control my Sonos around the house. And um, it's something again that you need to quickly interact with and then forget about. So um, that's why I like that. Talking about um, quick interactions, another thing is my calendar. I can, uh, I've synced some of the important calendars that I work with work with on a daily basis and, and I've got quick access to them at the top here so someone phones and says what are you doing this afternoon oh. just uh, snooze that um, I'm able to uh, able to quickly check my calendar there magnet magnet is a window manager and what's great about magnet is um, it brings that feature that people do like about um, windows to the Mac. So I can slide across here, slide up there, I can move my windows around, I'm not going to make it big. So um, I, I like to do work like this because I do like to access to the dock because of notifications on there. And you can just see where you are and things rather than using the full screen. So uh, for me that, that works really well. It gives me the ability to get um, maximum screen real estate. I'm also actually using a 42 inch monitor <laughs> so um, I can uh, I can move things around and then drag another application uh, so if I want to web browsers bang or um, if I want something nice and big I can do that and that's the benefit of a bigger monitor rather than two monitors Bartender is an app widely talked about and uh, it enables me to tidy up this uh, menu bar. So these are the apps that I'm quick access to. I still want certain apps running in the background. So I click on Bartender and I can access these. I use OneDrive for my uh, both my personal files and my business files. I love it. You get um, access to the um, app, Microsoft apps and uh, 
you've got about a terabyte worth of storage um, for each. So I don't think I'll ever go over that for my documents. And um, what's really good about OneDrive, in my opinion, and all the cloud services now do this. Um, but see this blue cloud here? The file actually isn't taking up space on my hard drive, but um, it's um, showing in my finder. So that's um, really, really key to be able to uh, to do that for me with such a small drive. Uh, I can go in and download the files before I get on a train if I know I'm not going to have Wi-Fi, but I can't think of many places that I tend not to get into there. Uh, again, beauty of a Mac, I'll turn up to my phone with a click, really good. So go back into our bartender, um, TunnelBear is my VPN of choice. Um, I like it because you get 500 megabytes a month for free, and you can simply just click on the country that you want to go to. You'll see I've got a little bit more there. I downloaded an app and I tweeted, and I, I got a bit more free storage from them. One day if I need any more, I'll upgrade. But um, it's important to use a VPN when you're on a public Wi-Fi network and you're doing your banking, for example, just for the extra bit of security. Um, also, I, I use it when I'm overseas, um, if you need to um, use anything unregion um, locked. Um, for example, BBC iPlayer um, only works within the UK or some of the American shows I can't watch over here. So what I can do is I can go into that country, click, start the show, disconnect the VPN, and I don't use actually any... Um, any memory to, to download it, so it's a, it's a cheap way of doing it without actually having to pay. Um, Mounty enables me to connect to FAT32 hard drives, uh, ones that are particularly configured for Windows or larger files, so why use that? Uh, Taurine is uh, something that keeps the Mac awake if you've got something downloading, for example, and you want to make sure it just doesn't sleep, um, you can use Taurine for that. And then I like to keep access to um, uh, to my AirPlay just so well, if I'm going into a meeting, I can quickly just beam to the screen. Spotlight, I don't actually know why that's there. Um, I just normally just press the uh, command and space and you know, bring it up in that respect. So you notice I don't actually have the button for notifications. And uh, the reason being is I'm actually hidden it using uh, Bartender. You don't need it. Um, I use the notification panel all the time, but I've got itself as a hot corner. So I'm able just to go in and uh, pull out the um, notification and the widgets. So the first widget you'll see is, a, is one called Batteries. It's actually um, called Air Power. It's uh, Air Power, I believe, and I think it's $4.99. And what it was meant to do is bring the uh, functionality that you get with the um, iPhone and the iPad with the AirPods. When you open the case, it shows a uh, nice fancy animation, um, but it's too unreliable, so actually that's why I meant to toothpick. But what it does have is this neat little battery widget, and anything connected to the Mac, it um, gives you a battery status off. Um, the phone and the iPad are connected via Wi-Fi, and uh, I synced it once um, using the manual syncing in the Finder app, and now they show up in here, and you can see, for example, they're both on charge, and uh, They'll have some power soon, so um, I really like just to be able to see, have access to this, and again the weather. And then that's all I use here. Um, and again, uh, it's just simple productivity. There's a quick little bit of an oversight to some things that I might need quickly. We're about clutter, and I like that. We'll go down to my dock. Um, I like it at the bottom, as I say. I can see my notifications, and what's going on. I like this cool little hover effect. I'm gonna keep it reasonably small. Quick time's recording our screen at the moment. I'll talk about some system preferences later. Uh, the App Store's down there because you need access that quickly if you want to download an app. Uh, the news, Apple News is my um, news app of choice. And what I like about Apple News is all the re news sources um, come together and you're able to, to read by topic or by source and then change source without having to go to each individual app or website and it works cross-platform um, being in the Apple ecosystem I can read the news on the sofa on the iPad um, or, or from my phone and I also get the same notifications um, from the various news sources so I really do like it um, and you're able to go by topic so once I've had enough of coronavirus and Donald Trump um, talking about bleach I can uh, go in here and I can read about something um, sort of more more interesting, a little bit more upbeat technology. Um, Apple TV, um, I'm an Apple TV subscriber through my new iPhone. I have to say I, I do like the content that Apple put out. 
C took a little bit of time to get into, but actually I'm now hooked. And um, the morning show was good, and uh, I think there's a couple of other shows that I'm looking forward to watching there as well. I purchased all of my <laughs> TV, and so I've uh, got into Modern Family through iTunes, and movies through here, because that means I've got them on my phone, my iPad, my Mac, the Apple TV. I can watch a movie or a TV show wherever I am, um, when I need access to it. So it's really good. And they actually copied themselves the uh, SD card that's apparently in the Mac. And uh, card corrupts, it's not the end of the world, but um, I haven't had an issue yet touching some wood. Um, but it just means that I can download as much as I want and not worry about it taking up hard, hard drive space. Podcasts, I listen to a lot of podcasts, but um, mainly from my phone. But it's nice to have that there for if I'm in a coffee shop, I've got my AirPods in, I'll just quickly bring up a podcast. Apple Music is probably one of the only Apple services that I don't have. <laughs> and uh, I prefer Spotify, it's more social, it's easy to find, there's better curated playlists in my opinion, I just wished it worked better with a Mac uh, or the Apple ecosystem, particularly the Apple Watch, I'd love to be able to just stream music directly from my watch and just go for a run with my watch and my AirPods, I can't do that, but again I do have some purchased music, it's on the SD card, it's not on the hard drive, and Spotify is the same, it's configured to download everything to the SD card. Using it for work, um, I've got the office suite um, for the teams, collaborating with our teams. It's me and my wife part-time, um, and, but I use it for external meetings as well, and webinars. Um, it's probably the most secure out of um, the online sort of meeting platforms out there. And uh, oh, I'm happy with it. <laughs> it does what it's meant to do. So um, I can't floor it any more than that, really. Um, as I say, uh, Microsoft makes some great applications. Windows 10 isn't one of them. So, um, obviously Word, uh, Excel, yeah, they're, they're fantastic. They, they do what they need to do. and They're the best in class for it. Um, so, uh, they're slightly different on a Mac, but they, they're usable and they, they work with a dark mode and everything. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. It allows me to use uh, the operating system I want with the software that I, I need to to be compliant. So, I'm happy. I use Outlook for my work emails, um, Salesforce consultant, and it gives me the ability to upload into Salesforce, which is not compatible with Mac Mail, but it also keeps things separate. So I can, on the weekend, I can close it off and um, work's done. Apple Reminders is uh, something that I use mainly for personal reminders, but uh, that free there is really annoying me at the moment. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, look at my tasks and um, <clears throat> get that down to zero again. So it's a, a productive way. It works really well if you're in the Apple's ecosystem. Um, you can sync it with Exchange as well. But I don't use Exchange for um, work tasks. This is a program called Trello. Trello is free. Um, there is a paid version, but a free version suffices most people. It's a project management um, app that enables you to move things around to where you want them to be. You can rename these columns, you can add additional columns if you want to. You can share it with your team or external people. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. It works on all my devices. It works on Android, uh, Windows as well, uh, for a web browser. Um, I, I, for managing work projects, I like it. It's a, it's a great application. I use the Apple Calendar because it means my iCloud calendars and my work calendar can all be in one place. And I'm able to say, yep, yeah, I am free or no, I'm not free. I have lots of different calendars. I have one from the Sailing Club, uh, my wife and I share a calendar, then I have a personal calendar, my work calendar. So um, although they're not all syncing with Itchical, they're all there in the Apple Calendar. And the same with the contacts. Personal contacts are in the iCloud and my work contacts are within the Microsoft Exchange. But um, for being compliant with GDPR, I have to keep them separate, but they're in the same app, so it doesn't really make any difference. Photos, um, I like the Apple Photo app. Um, I store all of my photos um, on here. They're synced with the iCloud, they're backed up. They, as soon as you take a photo on the phone, they're instantly available on the Mac and the iPad. It works really well. I have the ability to create an album. What more do you need from the photo app? So um, I'm very, very, very happy to 
to use this and again the photo library is stored on the SD card because everything's backed up in the cloud and not some worry about reliability and I do take a manual backup just in case Apple does something stupid. All in one messenger enables me to use uh, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp or any other actual messenger application um, within the uh, within the same app. So, for example, I used to say Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, but you can get Gmail in there, you get Skype, uh, Teams, Discord, all in one app. So you don't have to keep downloading different apps, and it it works really well. It essentially, is, it gives you access to the web application, but for let's say Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, that's all you need. Skype, need I say more? <laughs> Messages again, a great way. I don't actually have to pick up my phone. Phone calls and FaceTime and messages all come on this Mac. So, phone's over there on a wireless charger, and uh, I'm able to uh, I'm able to access uh, messages through here. Personal email, switch off when I'm working, so I don't get distracted. Web browser of choice is Safari. Safari is um, much lighter weight than Google, doesn't eat the RAM. Have a little bit of a problem with Google's. Um, way they treat data. Um, uh, I love Google as a company but uh, a little bit skeptical on how they treat data but um, I'm not going to get into that argument today but essentially I prefer Safari but obviously working with software you have to have uh, compatibility and it's not always compatible um, with certain things particularly with Microsoft I don't like it um, and Salesforce certain things in there don't work as well so uh, I do have to keep Chrome, but what I love about Safari, again, with everything Apple, it looks the same on every device that I pick up and use. Um, all my bookmarks are there. Um, down the side, I have my reading list as well. So if I see an article, I'll pop it in there, and then I can read it on, on the iPad on the sofa while it's watching something on TV. It's uh, just a great way of keeping uh, all information uh, in, in one simple place. So I do I do love Safari, and I'll talk about some of these extensions that I've got up here <coughs> shortly. So we're coming to the launchpad again. You notice I keep it keep it tidy. I like to keep things sort of uh, organised that way. I don't have lots of icons everywhere. Um, most of what I use are down in my dock, but um, uh, notes, for example, I prefer OneNote. Um, it's not in my dock actually, but um, I prefer OneNote, but occasionally you scribble something down in Notes, particularly the Apple Pencil, and you need access to it, so I've just whacked it there so I can get to it, but most of the time I use Spotlight Search to open a program that's not in the dock. Um, Kindle, I read Kindle books on my iPad and uh, iPhone, and it just gives me a way to upload a PDF if I want to read something else, or a journal, or something that's not bought in the Kindle store, that's why I've got the app on the Mac. Um, so the browser extensions I use, um, Pipifier gives you a picture-in-picture -picture video from websites, so for example Netflix, I can have a, oops, I've used a hot corner, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, um, I can have a picture-in-picture um, -picture video playing, a YouTube video or something while I'm working, Grammarly is a spell checker that I use, and Honey is the browser that every YouTuber seems to be setting on YouTube, uh, browser add-on, maybe YouTuber sells on YouTube rather, <laughs> And uh, I've actually saved a few quid using it. So um, where they will stand there and say, "Oh, I love honey." But actually, honey's honey's all right. And they've not paid me to say that. So uh, yeah, um, I'll I'll have it. It's probably saved me in the last sort of six months thirty quid. Um, yeah, I'll have a program that saves me thirty quid. Um, I have a document creation folder, standard Microsoft Suite. I do use uh, Photoshop. Um, I, as I say, I've well got my company. I have to do my marketing as well. It's where I'm man band at the moment. So find Photoshop just for doing a little bit of web work or doing uh, banners, that sort of thing. Just going to quickly add that before I forget down to the dock. Um, that's all the Apple stuff that comes to the Mac that I don't really use an awful lot. Uh, if I need it, I'll search for it in Spotlight. I don't know why this one's called social networking, it should be called Apple, that's probably a little bit more useful than the other. Um, nothing in there that you don't really know about. 
there's Air Buddy that does the um, batteries, um, button to free, battery life indicator, that obviously tells me my uh, battery status. Hex color is quite nice, it's just a simple little um, hex tool that you can uh, click on the color and it gives you the hex code. So if you're doing sort of HTML coding, that works really well. Um, HP Smart, I use a HP printer and scanner, just give me the ability to do that. It's Cal, I've shown you, Magnet, I've shown you, Mounty, yeah. Self control. Self control is evil. Um, but it's a great for productivity. It blocks websites. So, uh, for example, Facebook. If I'm working, I can block Facebook, but I can't then undisable it. Like the Mac, where you can use um, screen time and uh, put your code in, well, you know your code. This, you physically, no matter what you do, you cannot disable it issue I did have is um, in order to log on to my WordPress site it's authenticated through Facebook and uh, for 24 hours I'm able to log into my uh, business website but um, <laughs> apart from that it's uh, very good as I say but evil because you can't reverse it so just be careful when you use it and again we've uh, talked about the other apps and tools as well some messaging apps See the ones I use, I use Teams, Skype, all in one messenger. I don't really like Zoom, but everyone seems to be using it, so I've had to put the free version on there just so I can talk to people. Audio video folder, so I have the menu bar for Sonos app and my iHeartRadio for listening to music. BBC iPlayer again goes to SD card, but that's for downloading iPlayer shows. VLC, I haven't found a video file that, that will not play. And Garage Band, so I play the guitar um, very badly. And uh, I don't actually have an amp, so I have a, a USB lead that goes into the Mac, and uh, the Mac is my amp connected to Sonos, and I'm happy with that. I'll buy an amp one day, but uh, the space and where I am with the guitar, it's uh, more than suffice. So we're going to some of the settings I use. So everything's all set up for iCloud, works really well. Um, I use an MX Master mouse um, for some of the gestures. Um, I've got the side scroll wheel. Uh, it's much better than the Magic Mouse, in my opinion. Um, what else have we got? So, if we go into the security, one of the uh, features that I love about the Mac is uh, if we go to general here, you use your Apple Watch to unlock uh, apps on your Mac. So, where you get the admin password authentication come up if you need to install something, I can just as long as I've got my Apple Watch on my wrist, I can tap it and uh, it will authenticate then. It also unlocks the Mac. I think that's uh, a great little feature that we can that you can use. Um, I don't really actually have too many more settings um, different from the, the, the standard. Uh, I think it, Apple did a very good job with that, so I'll just leave it. I've got my photo library as a screensaver um, that comes on, but apart from that, Obviously, if anyone has any questions or um, wants to know anything more, please uh, drop a comment and we're happy to do it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've seen some great applications and settings that help us get more productivity from our um, Macs. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what applications that you use on your Mac that differ from me. Thank you.